Hello everyone, my uh, students uh, grade 7, this is uh, Mr. Ahmad Abdurrahman Mohammed Tawfiz talking to you and uh, today uh, we are going to talk about the grammar lesson in uh, page number 219. I want you to grab or to get the book, grammar book and open page number uh, 219 and listen to me please when we talk about uh, the verbs actually this lesson is talking about verbs when we talk about the verbs we have so many forms of the verbs or so many shapes in uh, or at first for example when I say he draws excellent pictures for sure this is a, a verb here draws and for another ex example I say last week they drew pictures another example when you talk about perhaps she will draw perhaps she will well draw she will draw something picture also and we have here at that time three forms the first form here or the, in the first example we talk about draws with s I mean it is a present and it means that she or he does this every time he draws excellent pictures or he loves to draw excellent pictures but when we talk about drew so drew is the past of draw so i say last week here is it and it's a key last here is it last week they drew pictures so drew here as i told you it is a verb also but in the past form and i will talk about that when i say perhaps she will draw i mean that in the future by adding a helping verb well so this is a future tense so we have present past and future these are the most or the main lines so when we talk about the first so we we, we talk about here this is the timeline if we talk about the timeline here so we have three categories number one we have here in the past and in the past we just add ed or ied to the verb or irregular or we add in the present let's ch change the color of the of the present which is make it blue in the present as you can see we can add s or es or ies as you can see or just normal without anything without s or with he she and it uh, without with i we they and you no s or es or ies so you make it in the present and the third category here we have is is past so change the color sorry future so the in the future we use only well plus the the verb only the infinitive the same so well play like well play well go and so on okay but this is in the future so these are the main categories or the three main categories of what of the verb number one we have 
past, number two we have present, number three we have future. We will go deeper about that and we'll talk about uh, that the forms. So you just get a verb like talk. We just make it or conjugate it. Conjugation here, we, I mean that you are making it into forms. So when we talk about present partic participle, this is category number one, and category number two, past, and category number three, past participle. So when you talk about present participle, present participle, so I mean it will be is talking. I just add is and the ing to the verb is talking this is the present participle but when I want to make it into past another color so normally you know it talk talk will be talked when I want to talk about that uh, past participle, not the present participle, the past participle, which is all of you know it, past participle, so I mean has or have talked, has or have in the present and had in the past talked. So we have here uh, uh, the three categories. Uh, first of all, this is we call it base four, base or base four. And after the base form comes in number two, the present participle, and in number three, the past, and number four, the past participle. All right. All right. So. When we talk about all of these, we uh, I mean that the verb can be conjugated into four categories. This is the normal one, the base form, the present participle with ing, the present participle with ing, I add am or is or are, no problem about according to the subject itself. Or past, as you can see, talked, you add ed, and past participle, we add uh, has or have or had uh, talked, we add also ed and uh, with has and have or had okay uh, so let's go deeper about that let's uh, show I, I want to show you I will show you now uh, um, a presentation about that the verb forms as you can see verbs address differently from different uh, dif for different occasions right okay she dressed for school this is number one she dresses casually this is number two and she has dressed for graduation this, this, is, this is different. There is a difference between dressed and dresses and has dressed. Dressed in the past, dresses usually or always, and has dressed maybe from two hours ago. Verbs have four principal parts. Each principal part have, has a different function, as we say. The four principal parts that we say, we call them the base form, like talk and draw. This is the base form without changing to the verb. But present participle is talking, is drawing. We add ing and the past talked and uh, the past of draw is drew. And the past participle is half talked and for draw, have drawn, as you can, as you can see. So here he chose for you talk. He chose for you talk and chose for you draw talk if we talk about talk it's regular verb and draw is irregular verb so you have to it you have to know uh, it well so the past of uh, of draw is drew the past participle of uh, of draw is drawn
Okay? Well, these principal parts are used to form all of that different verb tenses. So we have, for example, they talk every day. It means that it is like a routine or they get used to do it. Okay? All the time. And when I talk about the present participle, they are talking now. Right now, you add ing, as you can see. And don't forget that helping verb. Very important. They take R and after R, talking. Sorry. Uh, in the past, we talked about they talked yesterday. It's a key for you. And it, it appears that something happened and finished. Happened and finished in, in, in the past. Okay? And you're doing something else nowadays. Past participle, they have talked for hours. Oh my God, I have a headache now. So... It, it, you can get some results or you have results in, in in the present so something happened in the past okay as you can see and has results in the future or in the present like as i told you Oh my god, they are they have talked for hours. That's why I feel a tired a little bit or I or I have a headache because all of my students are talking a lot as usually as you as you do usually you are confusing uh, the lesson. Okay? Well, let's go to the next lesson. Uh, we have something called a regular a regular verb, you know it from grade 4 and 5. Generally, you add D or ED. Okay? So here, if we talk about that, the base form clean. The past of it, we add ED, cleaned, and have cleaned. But what is the difference, mister, between the past and past participle? This is only cleaned, and this is have or has cleaned. Okay? Hope, hoped, have hoped. The present participle is formed by adding ing, which is different from the past participle. This is past participle. All of these past. But we need to know more about that. Present participle clean, cleaning. That's it. You just add ing as you can see. Okay? Take a look. Understand for a while. Look at the base form. The past, the past participle. This is step number one, step number two, three, and the present participle, ing, four. All right. Most regular verbs that end in e, we drop the e for sure before adding ing. And like hope, we drop the e as you can see and add i and g like hoping okay some verbs double the final consonant before adding ing or ed we have to double the consonant okay like hug so you have to double the consonant hugging so double g why because before it it is a vowel sound up hugging okay and also we have like uh, uh, hug also with ed Hot, okay? Don't care about the picture, okay? I know that what you're thinking about. <laughs> okay, so this is that um, get on your own about the answers. I will answer them for you for sure. Number one, I want you to take a look and answer in your mind now quickly. He needs you to make perform in present participle. Watch in past learn in present participle and uh, request in past participle I had hope uh, past participle go ahead and answer from 1 until 5 
Okay, let's get started. Answers. Here is it. The dancers are performing. Present participle. We watched the past. We are learning. And someone has requested. And I had hoped to take dance lessons. Past participle. Check your answers. Okay. But some days or some verbs, as you can see the picture of the eggs here, all of them are white. But some of them are a need to change or they need changing. So what they want or what they will do, they change their color into what? Into brownie instead of white. I want to be a unique person. So some verbs do not fit that reg regular pattern. Uh, we call them irregular verb. Irregular verb. Do not add D or ED. We do not, we do not add D or ED anymore. Okay. So uh, some, in some, in some forms we, D, we add D or ED with the regular. Okay. Let's talk about drink. The past is drank. The past participle have drunk. Okay. Hurt, hurt, have hurt. Some irregular verbs would change the vowels. You can change the vowels, for example, like begin. I change it I into A. And in the past participle, have begun. I change it A into U. Also, we have another example like that. Take a look. Find, found, have found. Hold, held, have held. Ring, rang, have rung. Swim, swam have swum okay we change it that uh, we're changing the vowels some would change the consonants like uh, make I change the K here into D made have made okay look at that bend bent I change it the D into T as you can see have bent belt belt have belt Lend, lent, have lent. Spend, spent, have spent. Some irregular verbs, we change both vowels and consonants, not only the, uh, the, the, the vowels or only the consonants. So like ride, so we change uh, the R, uh, uh, ID into OD, okay? Or written like this. Okay, have written. So all of these must be memorized or studied well. Look at the word, take a look. By boat, have boat. See, saw, have seen. Speak, spoke, have spoken. Wear, wore, have worn. Take a look. It's like taking a picture. And let's move. No changing at all. We don't change like put, put, put or half put and this is the easiest for sure like that coast coast half coast cut cut half cut head head half head or has maybe or had it's not a must we use have according to the what I said according to the pronoun subject pronoun if the subject is singular or plural red red have red he just giving you have as an example only Okay, this is in your own. Now, I want you to add these verbs here in its correct past or part, past participle. Read and answer in your mind. Two graceful swans across the lake. Gabriella lend me her softball glove. Nate, a fleece jacket on the hike. Where? I have already the wrapping paper cut. Have you the best on the science project? Do. Okay, guys, the answers. Number one is swam. Number two, lent. Number three, war. 
Number four, cut. Number five, done. Have because have done. Okay, thanks a lot. And we stop until here. I wish you understand, uh, you understood the lesson well. And uh, see you uh, later and soon, inshallah. Okay, bye bye.